What's up guys welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 22 Barcelona career mode on the channel so in this episode we're going to be getting through La Liga and we beat Sevilla 1-0 so that means that we have already won the title pretty much and now we face off against Athletic Bilbao so this is our lineup Ter Stegen, Des Araujo, Eric Garcia, Oscar Mingueza, Frankie De Jong, Dybala, Pedri, Memphis Depay, Dembele and Ansu Fati and they also have a very good team so this should be an interesting match so hopefully we can win and we're just going to be jumping to result and we win it to one so now we move on into the next match but before we do that please guys subscribe to the channel because 83 percent of you are not subscribed so it would help a lot if you would just subscribe to the channel and give a like to the video and now the next match is against Huesca who are pretty much a relegation threatened team and they are pretty much relegated at this part of the season if i'm not wrong in this save that we have so our lineup pretty much the same, Danny Zakaria plays and Pedri also plays, so we should be beating them. And now let's just get into the match because I believe that we're going to be winning. And Memphis Depay scores to make it 4-1. And now let's just jump in and enjoy the celebrations of the league title. And there we go, we have done it, we have won La Liga once again. After a brilliant run in La Liga, almost winning every game, some crazy matches along the way, we have finally done it. Barcelona are back on top of Spanish football and Memphis Depay, what a season he's had, scoring and assisting for fun. The whole team runs over to celebrate, Ter Stegen joins and these celebrations would be priceless especially considering how bad Barcelona have been in real life. It always feels good to get the club that you love in real life, which is struggling to hopefully win trophies in a video game and put in the hard work to lift some titles, lift some trophies. And there he is, Jordi Alba, the captain, about to live, lift the La Liga title. And here we go, Barcelona are champions of La Liga once again they have done it they are celebrating in front of their home fans and this should be done because the fans have traveled wherever they've gone and now they have to focus on the Champions League and just enjoy the moments and now he celebrates with the fans and they deserve to look at the trophy Jordi Alba lifting the cup high, the fans cheering and the Camp Nou is so excited. And now just look at that. So emotional, we took these players from nearly the Europa League and almost getting sacked to winning the La Liga title with them. What a brilliant save this has been. And now we move on towards the Champions League final. But before that, let's have a quick look at our career stats. So two league titles, one club and we had our biggest win against Manchester United 6-1 and biggest defeat in El Clasico 5-1. So record transfer fee was I think Denny Zakaria for 112 27. No, it was Dybala, I think. And 111 games, 72 wins, 20 losses, and 225 goals, 127 conceded. And now for the stats of the players. So our highest valued player is Frankie De Jong with 137.5 million of transfer value. Pedri joins him. Dembele also is there about and our highest paid player is Ter Stegen. I think it's deserved because he has been really really good in this series and almost keeping us in game single handedly. And then we move on towards the stats, the goal scorers and the assist providers. So I think that Memphis Depay should be on top on both occasions. And there he is, 88 rated, 29 years old, 33 goals, 20 assists. And Jordi Alba also putting in nice performances, 4 goals and 3 assists. It was a team effort, that's for sure. 
JRP playing four games and now assists. Depay on top, Ansu Fati, then De Jong, Pedri with nine, Dembele with eight, Jordi Alba once again. What a brilliant season he has had from left back. Gabby with one and one. So overall, it has been a pretty enjoyable series. And now we are about to move into the final game of the season. And Kuneguero in real life has retired. I have received the news and seen it on social media. So let's just get him another Champions League title before he retires in this game. And the team of the year is announced. And there's no Barcelona player in the team. And the goalkeeper of the tournament goes to Tish Dagen. Wow. So guys, this will be all for today. If you liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 22 career mode content.